Today's results of the evaluation show we did the right thing with this voluntary approach. The results show that the platforms have taken their obligations seriously. And more companies are joining the code. In 2018, four new companies came on board. Uh, here we see Google+, Instagram, Snapchat, and Daily Motion. And today I also want to welcome the French gaming platform Jevideo.com on board. The average rate of removal of illegal content has slightly increased from last year and it is now stable at 71%. Just let me remind you that at the beginning when we started this exercise in 2016, we were at 28%. In addition, Almost 90% of all notifications made by social media users and trusted flaggers are now reviewed within 24 hours. This is a good result and it relates to one of the key commitments of the platforms to tackle the majority of cases within one day. The only real gap that remains in is transparency and the feedback to users who send notifications. On average, about a third of the notifications do not receive a feedback detailing the decision taken. Only Facebook has a very high standard sending feedback systematically to all users. So we would like to see the progress on this in the coming months. Likewise, the companies should be more transparent towards the general public about what is happening on their platforms. We would like to see them make more data available about the notices and removals. The companies themselves changed their approach. Many of them now call for regulators to take decisions on artificial intelligence or on online content. They realize that a hands-off approach does not help to build or regain the trust of their users. This is the crucial moment for the tech sector. Either they will prove that they can play fair and embrace the rules that exist in the offline world, or they will face regulatory actions or man on many fronts. It is time to balance the power and the responsibility of the platforms and social media giants.